and get rid of that orange there. This would probably be best used with a custom shape. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a user shape. And I'll just make it polygon. There we go. I'm going to attach my shape. Go back to the secondaries. And now I can pull the saturation out of that. Now you can see that the floor there is not as orange. Okay, so now we've done that. Now we need to get our look back into our wheel. Let's go to our fifth tab in our colors. Enable it. Preview. Let's enable a vignette. And let's do our custom user shape. And let's go around the inside of our rim here. See if we can bring back some of the color. Because it's a little silver there, as you can see. Maybe we can make it red to match the car. Or, you know, whatever your preferences may be. I'm going to make that a polygon. Now that sticks there like that. Let's adjust it a little bit. Let's up our softness. Like so. Now we want to attach that shape. Attach it. Let's go back to our secondaries tab. Now let's... Let's see here. We want to work on the inside. We want to give it a little bit of red to make it a little red to match our um, car a little bit. Or do we want to make it a, just like a darker gray? Like so. We'll make that gray a little darker. Let's, what do you say now? Let's go to our six tab. Let's enable them. We're working down now. Let's our tire there. Let's enable the vignette. Let's go around the outside of our tire. I'm gonna like so. Okay. Now we got our little vignette around the outside of our tire there. If you want to, you can bring it down to make it our tire blacker. Okay? Now our tire is real black, but it's making the inside of our wheel darker than we want. So let's go to our next tab, our seventh tab. Let's enable that. Let's enable our vignette. Let's make another circle vignette, and this time we'll again go around the inside of the tire this time, not the outside. Last time, as you remember, we went around the outside. Now we're going around the inside of the tire. And we're going to brighten that up a little bit. There. Now, as you can see, that made our tire dark black. But we adjusted the middle of our, of our um, wheel to be back to normal. So now, as you can see, by using the color effects room, using two keys, adding them together, blurring them, using a gamma node, and we get the, the uh, out look, the look we want. Now, use, I used a gamma node here. Now, listen, the gamma node is what adjusted the colors of our mat. I could have used a saturation node and just pulled the saturation out of the car. I could have used a blur node and just blurred the car. Whatever node I use is only going to affect the portion of the mat that we singled out by using these hue saturation keys. Um, let's see here. What else could we... I'm trying to find something that I could show you. Just as an example, but I really don't think there's much here that I could show you. We could do the film look, I guess, but I don't think that's going to really stand out too much. Edge detection. We could do edge detection. And as you can see now, we're just getting the edge detection on the part of the car that has the mat. As you can see, the wheel's not affected, the floor's not affected. You can turn the scale up. You know, you can kind of give it a, a, a cool look if you want. Now, as you can see, we got this neat look because we're only affecting the car because that's the portion that we singled out using our hue saturation. Now, I can go back by just using gamma. Now, we are back to where we was. Um, let's see what else we can do here. 
smooth step. We'll take bring in a smooth step here and plug in a smooth step. That kind of makes it real rich. As you can see. Not quite as orange as it was, a little bit more red, but not quite as red as we made it with the gamma. So you can see this little tree set up here really, really gives you the possibilities. Like I said, if you use the saturation node and just pull the saturation out, you can see we're just affecting the saturation of the car. All I'd have to do is go in and adjust my hue keys and just get the edges a little bit more. You know? And that really wouldn't be that hard to do. But I'm not going to sit here and let you do that. Make you sit through do that. So you can see with this little tree setup, you can plug any node you want into the first out the middle input blend of your alpha blend and it will just affect the matte area that you had designated with your hue saturation and luma keys so let's go to our secondaries here let me hit the control G look up here there's before there's after before after before after now you could have done this in a lot easier ways but I wanted to go through and show you a complete uh, workflow of using the color effects room, using several, several tabs in your secondaries room, using your shapes from your geometries room, whether it be a custom shape like we did on the wheel or just a regular square or circle like we used over here. Um, we haven't went over the render queue, but I think that's pretty self-explanatory, and we didn't do any primary in um, adjustments because it's just not called for, and sometimes, sometimes people like to do the secondaries and color effects before the primaries. So now the only thing left to do is go to your primary out. You can adjust the whole thing as you see fit. And overall, give it an overall grade. And as you can see, we have our after. We have our before. Looks a little washed out, don't it? Compared to what we've done after. Let's lighten it up a little bit. It's a little bright for my taste. A little dim for my taste. There we go. Before. After. Before. After. So this is give you an insight on how to do a complete workflow using the color effects room. Please remember this tree setup because with this tree setup, you can plug in anything you want into the middle input and adjust and correct any section of the video that you want. It's really, really, a really good tree setup that I have found here from working on my own, and um, I hope you all take something from it and can use it. We'll see you guys next time.